So Audrius says, hi, can someone tell me if possible to create meeting for a year and other guest users who have the meeting link can be in the meeting without any registrations or organizer? So that's that's interesting in Teams. That is interesting. I mean, when we get into the mechanics of creating a meeting, there always has to be an organizer. There has to be something that initiates it. So that's how it's going to be stored. Uh, there are different options inside of Teams, how you control the behavior of gaining entry into those teams. You might allow guest users to bypass the lobby, for example. But you can create a reoccurrence. You can allow people to join via link, and we see it in the wild where we and, have and share it as well, and yeah. share the link as well. So you yeah, can have it right. completely open. So you can lock it down. The organizer can say like, "Hey, only I can invite people in, or have to approve those," or you can have it completely open so that yeah. it is just a link or a forwarded calendar invite that people can share. So I think I think the tricky thing here is that when you're creating your meeting in Teams, or, or even in Outlook, this applies, you, you go through the normal dialogue and it might be just a little checkbox saying, this is a Teams meeting, for example, if you're in the Outlook experience, or in Teams, you get this dialogue. But there is a, a link that says meeting options, and that's where the organizer needs to come in. It opens up a separate web page, and then you have the granular controls that you can make this work the way you want. And so now, like Christian said, the distribution is, you know, an email, a link, how, whatever mechanism makes sense for you and your organization. Yeah, and yeah, so you can, it, it's not behind a registration page, so you can have it completely open and make it really simple. I know that there have been, uh, you know, a, a number of questions that we've answered uh, doing this for months and months now, years, I guess, technically. Year. Years, uh, years. Yeah, um, <laughs> do this. We've had a lot of questions around calendars and there's a lot of ways that you can do that. And so you really just have to know your, you know, your requirements um, for what you need to have in place, whether you need to have a form, ask a bunch of qualifying questions, have an approver or not, so kind of a general workflow around it, or if you want something that can just be a calendar link or a URL that you can point people to and add to their calendars or to join directly. So it's, yeah, if you're using Teams, it's generally you, know, you create that there's a meeting link which you can share put a shortener put it into a, a url shortener and then there you go shorteners are bad though christian from a security aspect shorteners are not a good thing so i don't know if I there's some that systems that block right. them as well yeah yes exactly exactly i thought that microsoft actually was going to make their aka uh shortener available to the public at one point i remember this about four maybe five plus years ago, people had asked about making the AKA uh, engine that they have uh, available to the public, but they never did. And I think it's because they had that big scare with Bitly and yeah. and those other mm -hmm. ones. So, Well, that topic came up at uh, MS Build again this year. Oh, did there was it? was a discussion and, uh, where people again said, yes, please build in a shortener into these things. Uh, they, so they, ha they have it, AKA. You know, you can yeah. put AKA whatever whatever domain you want after it. The AKA is the engine uh, yeah. that generates the URL. So yeah. <laughs> so, so I guess the takeaway then as a user is if someone sends you a shortened link and you don't know who they are or what that link might be for, you shouldn't click it. Yeah. But That's true. if it's from a trusted source like our friend oh, Christian, here, Christian then, you know, yeah. click away. He or, tells everyone just to willy nilly, just send your friends whatever you want. Or if it's if it's somebody that is the crown prince of Wakanda and they're asking for help, <laughs> doesn't matter if it looks suspicious. You must you need to help them. Be a human. Come on. Yes. Wakanda forever. Wakanda <laughs> <laughs> <Kind of> forever. <laughs>